gentlemen of the assembly, uh, House Bill 1238 is a bill that will reduce our amount of time for absentee ballot mailing from 40 days, which has been lost since, uh, I believe, 1991, or no, excuse me, 81, to 20 days. The bill was uh, heard testimony against from the uh, Burleigh County Auditor, the Cass County Auditor, and Secretary of State Al Jagger, all stating that it would place an undue burden on the counties, counting ballots uh, closer towards election time, and that there was no uh, pressing need as seen at the time. So your committee on the judiciary does recommend a do not pass by a 10 to 3 vote and would urge you to vote red. Thank you. Is there any discussion? Representative B. Koppelman. Thank you, Mr. Speaker and members of the, of the assembly. Uh, House Bill 1238 was introduced to ensure that there is reasonable time for voters to learn about ballot measures and candidates for office before they cast their vote on an absentee ballot. Many people who choose to vote absentee request their ballots long in advance so they don't forget. Once they receive their ballot, many voters fill it out and send it back right away, again, so they don't forget. After they have voted, they oftentimes learn more about the issues and the candidates, and in some cases regret the way they voted. Each election, each election cycle, there are people who voted absentee that call their county auditor and request to change the way they voted, but can't. Absentee ballots are currently sent out 40 days in advance of the election, and this bill would change that to 20 days. This would mean that an absentee, val absentee ballot voter would have nearly three weeks to fill out and send in their ballot. Since campaign messages traditionally begin in early to mid-September and peak prior to election day in November, many voters don't have the necessary information available to them to become informed voters. Regardless of political philosophies, I think that we can all agree that we would prefer that all voters pardon me, um, have the opportunity to become informed voters prior to casting their ballot. I res respectfully request a green vote on this bill, and thank you. Representative Mooney. Thank you, Mr. Chairman and members of the Assembly. Uh, we've had similar discussions in our committee over in GVA, and the same question comes to mind today. Are we looking to adjust laws for our voters based on the conveniences for our voters to be able to educate themselves, or are we doing this for a campaign process? And to, to date, I still am not satisfied that we're doing this for the voters. I think that our voters are intelligent people. They will educate themselves as they need to. If they know that they will be voting early, they will educate themselves early. If they know they will be voting later, they will educate themselves later. Personally, I think that we're selling our borders short, and that's a mistake. Uh, I would encourage a do not pass on this bill. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Is there any further discussion? Representative Ruby. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. I wasn't planning on speaking on this, but uh, listening to the debate, uh, I can kind of understand both sides, and I don't necessarily like to uh, limit anybody's participation in the election process, but uh, election after election, people tell me it is too long. And, and yes, the process is set up to where when people can start being able to vote, our campaigns are going to ramp up and start to let them hear who we are. They get tired of hearing that, and I think if we do shorten this a little bit, uh, still plenty of time, I think, uh, to give people an opportunity to vote. But I think just in, in, from hearing from people in my district, they think it's getting to be too long of a drawn-out process of the election day. And I know a lot of that is uh, brought on, of course, by the national, especially the presidential races, starting almost two years before they really get uh, close to the election. So I, I'm, I'm going to vote green for this for that reason. Um, but, uh, you know, overall, I don't feel uh, that we should restrict people's access to the, to the election process. But I think in some cases we're just getting too long of, a, of an actual election period where nowadays election day doesn't even seem to be the, the special day that it once was. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Representative Strindon. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. I wanted to read a quick email that I received from Debbie Nelson, who is the Finance and Tax Director of Grand Forks County. And she really echoed something that we also heard from Mr. Glott, who's the County Auditor in Burley County, as well as uh, Mr. Montplaisier, who's the County Auditor in Cass County. 
I just wanted you to be aware that if HB 1238 passes, reducing the absentee period from 40 days to 20 days, I will need to hire temporary part-time help. We had 5,084 absentee ballots sent for the general election in 2012, and we could barely keep up with 40 days. We will not be able to with 20 days, and this will be an additional expense for all counties. Um, and this is something that we heard echoed from every one of the county auditors who testified on another bill in GVA that if, if they had their druthers, um, to deal with all of the absentee ballots that they would want a longer period, not a shorter period. Thank you. Representative Clemine. Well, Mr. Speaker, members of the assembly, I think another reason the committee recommended do not pass is that the 20 days here, I believe, has some conflicts also with the provisions of the Military and Overseas Voting Act. And uh, this would uh, reduce the time allowed for persons uh, in the military overseas to get their absentee ballots in. Is there any further discussion? Representative Casper. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Members of the Assembly, for clarification, this exempts the military vote. Military vote would, would not be subject to this, uh, to this bill. Thank you. Is there any further discussion? Representative Hansen. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. I did just want to remind the Assembly that this bill in no way limits or increases the amount of time one can or can't campaign is entirely focused on absentee ballots and when they can be mailed in. And as we had discussed previously, many in our rural counties had expressed some uh, concern about the amount of time we had. Uh, some of our, uh, some otters in our larger counties, particularly Burleigh, Grand Forks, and Cass, have expressed concern, especially with the temporary staff they have to hire, that they're uh, pre bombarded already, even within the 40 day process. And so that we just, uh, the do not pass recommendation was in order to keep those voters' freedom to vote in the same time period that they have been able to vote for some almost 30 years now. Well, no, 31 years, excuse me. Math. Thank you very much. Is there any further discussion? Seeing none, the House has before it for final consideration House Bill 1238. The clerk will open the key and you may record your vote. Has every member voted? Does any member wish to change their vote? The key will be closed and the clerk will take the record. The final vote shows 30 a 63 nay, one absent and not voting. House Bill 1238 is declared failed.